Hi, and welcome to Simple Spirituality PH. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Regine. I am an intuitive, manifesting-based hair reader. I am a certified Reiki healer and an overall light worker. And before we dive into today's episode, I would like to invite everyone who would like to receive notifications of my new videos to please hit the subscribe button over there. If you like this video later on, please give it your thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions you want to say hey, just comment down below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me online for now, of course, here are the details. Alrighty, so let's get to the meat of the video. Now, today's video is the weekly reading and journal prompt for April 4 to 10. And today I'm going to be using a deck that I haven't used yet for any reading, but I did do an unboxing of it. I'll leave it linked up here. It is the Essential Oil Oracle Cards by Lisa Powers. And so I've already pre-shuffled the cards and the card which came out for us today is Cypress. It is actually the first card on the deck, so that's pretty cool. So let me just read um, <clears throat> the contents of this card so that, you know, just in case you're not looking or for all of our um, blind community followers, uh, shout out to you guys. So here on the card, you'll be able to see at the top, it, uh, there is a word and the word is resilience. This is basically your anchor word. And you have a trigger statement, which is I need to control. So the trigger statement is I need to control. And the oil itself, the oil name is Cypress. It is a middle note. And the chakra that it relates to is the solar plexus. Is it the solar plexus? Let me check the symbolism if it is the same as a standard chakra. Hold on, guys. Yes, correct. It is a solar plexus. And your true statement, as written on the card, is I surrender. And the message for you is allow yourself to relax with the currents of life. Beautiful. These changes will take you even closer to where you are meant to be. So I think this is a very powerful card to have um, pulled out for all of us this week, especially for my fellow Filipinos who are currently in the Philippines. It has been a year, a full year, since the Philippines has been on lockdown. And just as we thought that things were going to be eased up, you know, the rules were going to be eased up, what happened was our numbers actually rose for um, a good week or so, and the government decided to put us on another enhanced quarantine lockdown. And so it's like what happened last year is repeating itself again for a second time and more strictly actually this time around. And so for a lot of people, especially again, especially for my fellow Filipinos who are in the Philippines, um, this is very triggering. This I need to control statement is perfect for what you may be feeling right now, you know? I mean, having been in lockdown for so long and having been out of control, you know, not being able to control the things that we normally do is very annoying and it's very triggering. And it's a basic, it feels like an attack to what you can and can't do, right? But for this week, the universe wants us really to remind ourselves that there is a very weird um, correlation between taking control and receiving, so for the purpose of discussion here, for the purpose of this reading, we define control as forcing things, you know, forcing things into place or simply just forcing. And so the more you try to force things, the more they get further and further away from you. This is especially true when it comes to conscious manifesting or even unconscious manifesting. The more you try to force things, you're not really focusing on the fulfillment of that thing. You're focusing on the lack of that thing. And in a focus-based universe, whatever you focus on expands. And that is why the more we try to control things, the more we affirm, the more we solidify the fact that you don't have what you want. The more we, tr the more we try to force things, the more we try to, um, you know, kind of like put them into place, the more you fortify, the more you support the idea that Things are not going the way as you want them to. 
you know? And so what really needs to be done here is to strengthen your faith on your faith and your knowing basically that everything will fall into place. All the manifestations that I want to manifest are going to manifest. I probably don't know how it's going to be done and that's not my job either. Really, if you can have something effortlessly, you would choose that route, right? And that is that is the way that it is when it comes to manifesting and with other things in life that you're trying to like control, quote unquote, right? So the journal prompt for this week, I know I rambled on, but that was a really <laughs> good segment right there. So the journal prompt for this week is really look at the areas of your life where you think you're trying to force things. And after you've meditated on those things, how can you add more faith into it so that you can effortlessly have these things? You know, the more you, I don't want to say let go, but the more you kind of relinquish control, the more you get yourself out of that state of, I don't have it yet. And the more you put yourself in a state of, I'm trusting that I'm going to have it effortlessly, without lifting a finger, without needing to do everything. It could be a problem that I don't know the resolution to, but I am connected to the universe and the universe will show me what that resolution is without me even asking for it, you know? So it's something like that. Think of it as kind of like, you want to take the more effortless route. And that is the way it's supposed to be, right? I mean, who wants to work, literally, who really wants to work hard? If you have a choice between having all the things that you want effortlessly and having the things that you want uh, the hard way and the longer way, which do you prefer? I would guess that it is the easy route. And it can be easy for you if you simply have the fortification of the faith and let go or no let's let's not use that word and relinquish the forcing part of it all right so that is the weekly reading that is the journal prompt and i hope it was helpful if you have cypress i suggest that you do your journal journaling with cypress on um yeah with, with cypress for for your your accompaniment all right so yeah, that is it. I hope this was helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions, you want to say hey, please comment down below. If you would like to receive notifications on my new videos, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you would like your very own tarot reading or Reiki healing session with me, online for now, of course, here are the details. I will see you guys next time. Stay happy, stay healthy. Whatever it is that you're forcing, you don't need to force it. And just know that it'll come to you effortlessly. And it will. You know, you'll just be so surprised how fast it's going to come to you. All right. So yeah, ciao for now. Bye guys.